Right, hello everybody, welcome to the third round match between Purple Chest and Kefuul. <laughs> Somehow you pronounce it. Um, PC with Dwarves. PTK, as we sometimes call him, with Skaven. And in the booth with me is Elk Meme and Muppet Pac Man. Hello, chaps. Hello. hello. May I talk now? You may talk if you now, wish. yes. Yes. Didn't ruin the YouTube intro. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is, it's interesting. So PC's team is pretty pretty incredible. Uh, 17, 17, a trim seventeen ten TV. Um, just twelve players, loads of mighty blow, a decent amount of stand firm. And uh, you know, obviously, yeah, loads of tackle because it's dwarves. It's just, it's just a generally great dwarf team. <laughs> get off About as good as you're gonna get brick. of the min max variety, isn't it? You know, like the okay, you could have a two k dwarf team with like two uh, two pom troll slayers and like you know strength ups and everything. But when it comes to like min max, this is about as good as it gets. Really, it's got everything you, you need. Could have gotten the uh, I forgot his name now. Uh, is it Yak who gets no blitzes? Yeah, no, he yeah. shouldn't have done that. Lots of the Russians don't take blitzers. That is fucking crazy and shit yeah. and wrong. But <laughs> it is more lean. <laughs> yeah, it's only 10k more. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Um, KFOG, on the other hand, basically just has a one-turner um, and a juggernaut guy to push him forward. And honestly, I feel like he's got that little chance of stopping... Um, PC's drive, then I wouldn't have even feel that this this storm burn on defense. And you know, seeing as PC, seeing as PC has already killed a guy, has <laughs> another guy on turn one. That's looking and the KO. pretty good. Yeah, and She's the got KO. Four, three. You just need to stun now. Well, three out of four removals if the LRS is pretty fine for Skaven. That's when it's four out of four that you're in trouble. <laughs> uh, PTK also bought another line that just for this match. You. He bought two more actually before the match uh, to go up to seventeen twenty TV, and uh, yeah, you know he, he could have maybe he's like sacked somebody and got a wizard or whatever, but you know he he did the right thing and went up low to play you know maximum players because he needs all these players against this violent dwarf team. And uh, funny enough, we we you know there's a predictions thing on Dio's Discord, and pretty much everybody picked Kfog to win this. But you know, I still think it's really close. Like you know, maybe it's only fifty three percent to Kfog and forty seven PC. It's pretty much all coming down the one turn, isn't it? You know, and uh, well, yeah, and immediately the one turn is having to be fielded, right? Because yeah, it's so two bench, and I just got three bench. I needed to move the camera forward. Disregard that. <laughs> Next turn, Dwarves are going to kill someone, and what I said will be relevant. <laughs> yes, probably. Well, it could be more relevant this drive if PC kills the Juggernaut guy, because then there's no one to. Yes, yes, that's huge. So honestly, I would have just not even fielded the, the, the Storm Bone, because I don't see how Kfog can get the turn off without a wizard. You know, yeah, you, what you're not winning by attrition, so there's no point in keeping him. Yeah. Yeah, I, I genuinely would have not fielded him. I would have given up defense instantly. Started with a Daka defense that would have stopped that blitz, which killed the guy, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't have even played. <laughs> if I was peace, if I was Kfog, but Kfog is like... not that type of person, is he? He's not one to just Daka. So, are you thinking about the Juggernaut to help the one turn? Because if he gets perfect defense, he can uh, base the gutter. No, no that, it's has, not a natural uh, one turner. It's not PC has four stand firm, so he needs the Juggernaut. Oh, he doesn't. Doesn't he not have sprint? No, nope. he doesn't. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. He needs the juggernaut to push to stand firm to get the. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I assumed that he had got sprint. Yeah. He, his movement was the last skill, so I guess he didn't even expect it to get movement. <laughs> yeah, some guy wants. Honestly, I would literally put the best three players on the bench. So that would have been, uh, I guess, this, uh, this one. And this the one. Guard well, pretty good. I, I think with this though, you do still threaten the dwarves to eat. It's a small amount, but you still make them a little bit rarey. So if you have every shitter you have on the on the field, then they can just go wild, run out and bang everybody, and they've got no worries about the ball getting hit. Like yeah. this, they have to protect it a bit. Yeah, they do. So a maybe, bit. maybe Kev has done the maths and been like, well, you know, five people dedicated to the cage versus. Uh, <laughs> Rest of alternatives. The I, I wouldn't be surprised if he had done that. No, there's no maths to it. It's just, um, 
it's just you know I guess K Fog thinks he can you know maybe with with his with his with this team as crap as it is maybe he he can you know get in the way of the goals enough to stop them scoring but I just don't see how he can. I, I disagree. Kicker can, exposed. I disagree that he can do that, and I think he shouldn't have tried. <laughs> it's pretty insane to even try. <laughs> to what? Do the maps on it? There's no maths on it, Al. Yeah, there's no, there's the maths. It's just. <laughs> well, I mean, you say that, but once that Blood Bowl AI fucking kicks off. <laughs> if there was a Blood Bowl AI, that yeah, like a, a good Blood Bowl AI, you know, like uh, like yeah, yeah. chess and everything. Like that stuff is like it's solvable. It's a solvable game, right? I, I think there is far. something to, there's random, to that. Isn't there? There's randomness. So there is random. The poker's oh, got randomness indeed. to it as well, but it's a solvable game. I don't think so. <laughs> Aggressively based in the storm room, I guess. Hello, Satletoad. Um, presumably, careful for the toss. I don't know. It's hard to say because any, even if PC weren't. Uh, Defense, if K Fog could just deck it and then just go on turn eight. Yeah, no, but no I'm sure PC once would have wanted the whole game to get to nail the one turner. So I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure K, uh, PC would have kicked. Um, Artemis would have received, he said, uh, in my game versus K Fog a couple of seasons ago. Or, or was it last season? Whenever it was. Um, Three roll. Wow. Yeah, he, he said he would have received, and, and I would have never th considered receiving until he said it. And then, when, you know, the, his reasoning was kind of sound. Um, but I, I do think PC, I do think PC would have would have kicked for sure. Okay, PC wanted to receive. Well, there you go. Shows we're on the channel. Yeah, rats don't mind being on the cheeky one. That's that's preferential, to be fair. This guy is getting hit next to. This juggernaut. It's gonna be alright, Muppet. You have little faith. They just don't reckless the brown. They have a wizard. They don't have a wizard, so there's just pretty much nothing they can do. PC just has a babe, which I guess is, isn't really a thing. But you know, what else is there to get as well? Yep. Here comes the pal, mighty blow. So was PC dog. down TV for this? Jeez, yeah. ten years, wasn't he? What the? F oh, what? Yep, Only that's false. Uh, although. KFOG also bought the two line that's so. Yeah, it, only 10 TV difference, but like. Hmm. Do you foul it? Bit of light hearted scumming. Yeah, but you know, KFOG could have had the option to stay at 12 and maybe he's got a wizard, but um, he didn't. <laughs> I, I, I prefer this, I prefer the bench. Yes, I do as well. Do you foul the juggernaut? Do you want him off that much? You can't, I don't think. I guess you could, but no. You have the one bench and the one rookie. If you have dirty player, yeah, but without a dirty player, it's like you get what you get a two assist foul, and you've got like GFI for that. Or some, I don't know. I guess you got to get a two assist foul without GFI, but it's no, you couldn't, could you? You could, you'd get a one assist foul. Like it's just not worth it, is it? Just got to hope for another chance to uh, foul him later. It's just hitting me. Oh, the um, Reckless uh, Brandon. Nice name. Clever. Nice pun. Asked about how to escape an evil attack of Dwarf Cat. You just go in and you just go negative 2D at worst. I mean, he's got all the guard, which makes it even worse. So negative 3D. But yeah, he's got Skaven Dauntless. usually have means to get in. Yeah, he's got Dauntless tackle. But there's just, just no point. There's no point. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not going to. But Just one turn and have fun. Yeah, you just can't. You just need the wizard, and he hasn't got it, so... With the wizard and the H6, he could have just won this in normal time. That, that's the issue, right? You know, with, with him going to 12 players. But then, yeah, that's that's what he's got to be thinking. He's got to... kfog has got to think if he did cut to get the wizard, then PC could just cut more, right? So... That's 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 the issue with cutting for the wizard, is PC would cut back. And then, the, if, if you both keep cutting, the Skaven lose out more, because... As we saw, as that crazy guy cutted like all his rerolls and <laughs> forgot who that was. But he just kept cutting until it got ridiculous. Yeah. Oh yeah, PC will yeah. score on turn eight. There's, there's no way he's going to score before then. 
There's no way he's going to not score either. <laughs> he hasn't done. <laughs> well, you know, if he wants to avoid two shots of the heat, you know. <laughs> the heat changed, didn't it? It did, it did change. It did right? actually change, did it? Nice. We, got yeah. game. Nice we cool. talked that about the nice. weather for, for like five minutes before the start of the YouTube video, then instantly it changed. <laughs> and we all forget. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. The juggernaut just stays down, not getting hit. You just see, I, I think best play here for the audience and... It's just end turn, end turn, end turn until it's eight. Score. <laughs> no, he's got a blitz with Call Mighty Call it half. Ball. He's got a blitz with Mighty Ball, hasn't he, Al? Come on. Well, you know, but you could still end turn. You know what I mean? It takes 10 seconds, isn't it? <laughs> Go for a little tickle. Whoa. Powers the storm vermin. Oh. Just a stun, looks like. Yep, getting it confirmed here. Just a stun. Yeah, now we could think about fouling it, right? Because now we can have, like, six assists or something. Yeah. And he knows that if it's a Kaz... It's not. It's still not very good, though, right? He's hoping for a KO. Because if it's a Kaz, it gets apple. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess... I guess MNG is the worst. Yeah, so he's hoping for an MNG or a death. So like, he's... Wor he's or, or, a, or a KO that fails to come back. Like, it's... It's not great odds. He doesn't care about this drive, that's the problem. Like fouling is good if you want them out for the drive, isn't it? He yeah, doesn't care the... at all about this drive. It's it's hoping only... for next drive, isn't it? Yeah. It's only okay, one folks. foul, like he probably will do it, and it's a skill there's a skillless thing. I think he probably will do it. The only one that matters though, FD. It's only one that matters. The the thing is it's for the one turn. So he only cares about the one kill roll. Yeah, you can come back to the nine, it'll be fine, you do okay. Yeah, if you there with an interesting point about the equity. <laughs> <laughs> a massive equity shift if this guy's removed. Nope, just a stun and, and a send off. Oh, <laughs> the gym foul! Mm. And he can't really foul anyone. Mm -hmm. Obviously, oh, he can still foul, but it's not, not good. It's a lot less prudent to foul now. That was a massive equity shift. It was pretty big. <laughs> and these gutter runners are running away to the end zone. <laughs> yep. Good afternoon, Ducky. Hello, Dirty Raxo. This is Elk Meme. He's even got Elk on his chest. This is it, hello, right, so. Dirty Raxo. Yeah, <laughs> bring back Elk Meme, who's still here. Yep. But if you, you do want to go drop to my channel, give me a follow, you know, more than one or two. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> do you have negative equity? If so, call this number and our trained mathematical experts will help you gain positive <laughs> equity. <laughs> yep. Muppet also streams as well, so be sure to check out Muppet as well. Be so often. Oh yeah, just got that. Thank you for following Dirty Rack, so. Appreciate that. Necrity. That's pretty good. I like that vulgar. Right? <laughs> oh, there's another cast. Another cast. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> just unfollowed Elf. <laughs> 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 well, that's that's not very nice. Yeah, you gained one and lost one. It's uh, equal equity. Yeah, it is. Yeah, new, yeah. three cars in Neutral five equity. turns. I, I wish I could have had a look like this in my chalice game. I tell you, it's crazy, isn't it? Other people can do this with <laughs> hitting yep. armor seven with my blow. I fucking can't. Yep, I've so, I can so. It's worse when the that. opponent gives you the hits and you're like, oh, thank you, and then you just <laughs> don't hit, kill anything. You're like, oh, okay. Yep. You gave me like five hits a turn and somehow nothing is dead. What a shame. PC gets one hit a turn and you manage to kill everything. <laughs> yeah, it's brutal, isn't it? You're probably not wrong there, Skuro. Obviously, not much joy to be had in beating up someone that just came out of the hospital from life changing injuries. But if you do get the win, which I, I'd be incredibly surprised about, uh, or Gorilla, you know, I'd, I'd be surprised about that, but it's still hollow victory. 
<laughs> Not to undermine any possible achievements, you know, but it's, it's hollow. <laughs> Training camp, of course, going extremely well at the moment. New personal best on the deadlift. Getting ready. Oh. Thank you, HTK. I've never watched an Elp stream, so I cannot confirm or deny that. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> it's sometimes funny. <laughs> there you go, there's my glowing recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> right of you at the bottom of Help Stream. Good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, these next three turns are going to be boring. Sorry, chat. Yeah. I'm not going to go into the specifics of how the training regime is going, just saying it's going well. New personal bests on deadlifts and stuff oh, like that. He's chasing them down, though. Let's go. What are you doing, deadlifts, did you say? Deadlift. Well, yeah, you know, I was just talking about my training, training regime. Oh, it's going really right. fucking well, really well. If you, I, I'd, I'd like you to post some videos of you deadlifting. That'd be glorious. <laughs> In the suit, really if I could, but no cameras. You know what I mean? It's just train, training camp. Jim oh, Boy, mate, I don't take no fucking voids. What do you know about voids? What the fuck, mate? You take voids? You seem to know a lot about them, mate. I'm not on doors, what? Yeah, What's not? wrong with my CCR win, mate? It's better than uh, better than Space Cadets, isn't it? Who is... I don't know. It might not be now. <laughs> it's Nurgle keep dragging me down. Oh, Nurgle. I'm pretty sure it is better than... Uh... And Space yeah. Cadets, who is of course the foremost, the foremost authority on on. What's on, wrong uh, with Blood Bowl Chain? What's with the base in here? What are we doing? I'm, just, I'm just confused. Oh yeah, of course the biggest metric there. Someone, some guy. Oh god, look at that! I lost, to, I lost, <laughs> I lost to help. <laughs> you did you? Yeah. What is that? Jesus. Don't know how that happened. Must have been an absolute Dyson. Yeah, look, you're half a percent above space. Hell yeah. Half a percent. Good job. Hell yeah. Good job. No, there's nobody who's dragging me down. They're so sort of like far down at the moment, but still positive. So here's what it is. No, got very ropey. Of course, an average CCL coach have on good a fight. Thirty percent win rate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what. That's what. Um... Oh, Gary and said. Yeah, and Gary is head other? honcho over there at uh, CCR admin. Yeah. I mean, no one, no one else has verified it, but presumably he's right. <laughs> presumably. Be Bezel could verify it with AAB. He just... couldn't be bothered. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's, that's far too much effort. <sighs> yep. Don't even suggest such a thing. Wow, Coffee Monster's a beast. 100 game. Nice. Orcs, 30, 12, 3 is not bad. I know you could just be a 1K TV uh, gamer. Okay. They're not great on 1K, are they? They actually beat most teams. Yeah, Orcs are pretty nice at 1K. Yeah. Dark Elves, of course, pretty, pretty brainless, aren't they? All due respect. <laughs> I don't know why you would say that, Elp, but, um... What, Dark Elves? Yeah. Oh, there's fucking... Elves, isn't there? Fucking Elves. <laughs> yes. Yeah, what? I think, you know, they're... Alongside Woody, is probably the easier one, don't I? I mean, those are the top two tier one Elf teams. Mm. Playing versus Dark Elves early TV is such a pain. Yeah, Dougie, that's the thing, isn't it? Um, oh, God, Ooh, the one in nine. One in eighty-one, not one in nine. Mm. He failed the reroll, and now that gives PC two mighty blow hits on gutters. Disgusting. Four, oh, three, because he has frenzy, but he needs yes. a power. Does not have tackle. Doesn't Does reroll not get this, the... does he? That's too risky to stick in the reroll. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, it's ten eight. If it was ten seven, sure. Ten eight. Yeah. 
sensible purple chest. We got one though. We got a gooder. Right, you here to see, uh... Ah. Uh, He's not dead. So now, the entirety of the match comes down to this one turn. <laughs> If you um, um, double one turn, right? So you one, you one turn, turn eight. You one no. turn, turn nine. No. Stand in the corner, play for kicks. Don't use any rerolls. No. No, because you have to go through overtime first. And you oh, yeah, yeah, well, that's fine. You stand in the one. corner, let him score. No, no, no. no. He'll, he'll, one he'll, turn he'll, he'll, stall, he'll stall his drive out. Because even if he stalls it out for like three turns, you know, every turn he stalls it out for makes PC harder to... to He's got those little legs, he's running forward. You swap to the rat's perspective now, don't you, Jimmy? Yes. Yeah, I do that as well. Alien to me, but... <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be interesting to see how PC tries the push denial here. Of course, there is sidesteps, so it's generally going to be pretty easy for him to get the, uh, yeah. to get the push. But And Kev is the one-turn specialist as well. He is indeed. Give me a couple of minutes and a camera and he'll get you some abstract, very unorthodox one turn. Yep. That has yeah, some use sometimes. Check out his YouTube and he has loads of guides on one turn. It's very Got good. Flying V here. Yep. You could literally score the one turn off this off this troll slayer probably, couldn't he? <laughs> one, two. You'll find a way. Two in there. <laughs> I just push them all the way back. Three, four. <laughs> it's really five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like you've pretty much got all eleven players in there. You could just blitz this guy and then do it that way. Like you literally could. I'm sure there's an easier way. But if he can't leave this guy here, can he? He can't leave a non-stun firm in the middle. That's crazy because now it's super easy. You can just push him back and blitz in here. Get the side stuff. I guess he. Does he have to enough guard? I think he's giving Kev too much time here to think. <laughs> yeah, you have two minutes. That's all Kev needs. Well, yeah, I know, but there's something to be said for... Um, what you? Something to be said for... Choose something pretty good, commit to it, and then you deny all this extra thinking time to Kev. Yeah. I know Kev is, you know, of course, his brain's above the rest, but... Yeah. Kev does have the big brain. I think this is too easy. I, I hate having the non stand for uh, Even forcing the dodges, him. he's AG6. Like, it's not going to do much. He pushes they're him just, here. They're just two pluses. And then. Oh, no, maybe not, though. No, because I'm going to sidestep two. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, is he filling his own square if he's good? For the yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, all right. Let's see. Yeah, he's he just going push denial curd on Mike. That's the idea, right? He's trying to make it hard. Oh, wait, right. he can do to the, to the left. If he um, blitzes from the middle, he can fill all three squares, so he pushes... Ah, he can't fill the back one. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You almost got there, Well, I believe you almost you. got there, yeah. Almost got there. I mean, this guy's essentially at five, isn't he, with two heads, so he could fill, he could fill in a space. Yeah. Okay, he can go wherever he wants. He could fill in a dodgy space, but um... Sadly, you need the other two heads to pick up the ball. But... Yeah, 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 I did the same thing earlier, Curd on. He does, need, he does need one push. But he's got sidestep and he's got juggernaut. So he's got the tools to get the one push. Maybe no, he is do doing all this filling everything in, like I said. <laughs> and obviously, if he gets two pushes, then it's just one less year for It's going to be interesting to see what he does. This will be a spectacle. This will go down in history. <laughs> now that you're hyping it up, it's probably going to be an absolute fucking disaster. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it'd be amazing if you could wizard on a blitz. Yeah. I'd just instant fireball if I was PC. Had the wizard. Just instant. <laughs> Don't fucking care. 
Yeah, Dokini just always, it always it always just seems like dicey to me, you know. That's that's what I don't like about rats. Like even this, even though like the you know the one turn is high odds, it's still just rolling dice, isn't it? It's there's no like, you know, yeah, positional play with cumulative impact of decisions or anything. It's just literally, oh, can you, you just play, roll the dice for the one turn? You need to play my scaven, Jim. I'm two one zero <laughs> with a uh, one gutter runner, one blitzer, the rest limits. <laughs> Yeah, it's so hard to, um, you have to rely on this shit as Gaven because of the armor 7 everywhere, everybody just fucking dies. Unlike Elves, where you can do a little bit of hopity dopity. Oh my god, I, he is doing what I, he, he is doing my idea, holy shit. He's That's watching straight, what a cheer. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Elves, PT, Care you're gonna be fucking up livid here. <laughs> Oh, this is brilliant. This. Is it showboating to be committing this hard 10 seconds in as well, not even thinking? No, it's all right. Yeah, I, th I thought of it, didn't I? And he's, he's obviously thought yes, of it. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah. whatever he's set up for. He can't go so for anything else, can he? He's already thought of it. And he's just got to execute it now. This is it. This is the way to do it. Oh, I don't think he didn't need this guy, though. He's done it wrong, right? He could have pushed him diagonal. That is right. Don't worry about it. It's Kev. Has he done it wrong? Okay. He didn't need this guy. He didn't need this guy here. Which guy? This guy on the end. Oh, the lineman. The line rat. Because he pushes him and then he pushes... Oh, no, he needs him there. Yeah, he does need him there to fill the thing. Yeah, okay. No, yeah. it's all right. He did, he did it Trusting perfectly. Kev. He did it perfectly. Of course he did. It's Kev. Yeah. Do you doesn't even need the power. So there you go, exactly okay. what I call it. Absolute that fucking toxic bastard getting it done in 29 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I told and you what I was talking about, PT giving him that extra time. Nah, I, I thought of it straight away. Didn't you, I? You dropped the easy here, don't you? Yeah, for sure yeah. I dropped the easy. 2G easy, well played. Oh, I'm so glad that I spotted it. Ooh. Flying V, no and good against... Uh, this was all because he bought the bench, and now he had the 11 players to do it? Yes, that's very true. Because uh, he's gone through a lot of blind rats that first half. Yep, and he's still got 11 men. Unbelievable. And if he not had 11 men, he couldn't have done that, could he? I don't think. The high kick was helpful, of course, as well. Yeah. I mean, I called it as well, Coffee. I called it. Come on. Thank you. I yeah, but you doubted it. yourself a bit when you're saying, nah, I didn't need this bloke here. So yeah, you sort yeah, of showed that, did. you know, you got the concept, but you didn't know exactly how to do it. <laughs> you didn't know the execution. You know the I yeah. did, I fucking said all the idea, push things, this guy, yep, yeah. okay, fair enough. We can all say that. <laughs> I fucking said fill all these in and then he can push it all the way around, but it probably needs 11 players. And then I thought maybe it's only 10, but it didn't, it didn't need 11 because it didn't need that guy in there. Exactly, sick as eggs. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it would have taken him five turns to do it. <laughs> well, yeah, all 11, including the Retriever, yeah. Yeah, the Retriever had to. Uh, had to be monster. And he had to have sides Absolutely that Rolex. not an automatic. He had to put it on manual so he didn't uh, size step away. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good That's probably what took a good 10 seconds of his time there, wasn't it? Yeah, mm. just had to go into the main. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Size step. <laughs> I could have done that one turn. It would have just taken me six turns to do it. <laughs> 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 And this is what a match looks like without kickoff events, basically. Yeah. Hello, Joe Farin. Um, it was a lovely one turn by uh, by K Fog. Um, this could be. Um, this could just be the start of the game, couldn't it? One one. Everyone's on the pitch. Yeah. yeah. Except it's a. It's only last. The game only lasts yeah. for a half, and uh, K Fog starting with the ball. So. Yeah. And that's the disgusting thing about Skaven, isn't it? I Basically. definitely recommend checking out that one turn if you missed it. Yes, uh, yes, and also the guide by uh, by Kfog. Look, I've got I've got a link for his guide. There, look. Ooh. there you go. That takes you to the uh, the playlist. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> wow, good, Mike. Incredible observation there. <laughs> just a dacker. I believe you can make it, Mike. I believe. Doing the dodge before the pickup. Yeah, I guess the pickup doesn't matter at all, does it? No. At the end of the day, the dwarves aren't going to get there and do anything. He might chain push a dwarf. I oh, can't, can he? That'd be fine. <laughs> chain pushes dwarves forward. Let's go. Yeah. No one's there, sadly. And I think PC's preferred method is to like kind of stay on the half halfway line. And if he does that, of course, then it's attrition free for KFOG, isn't it? Be interesting to see how he does this. I think I prefer it too, because if he gets past you, you just lose, don't you? If your team yep. like Yeah, I don't think ball. you push forward ever against this. I think you just sit there and you smash in turn and you wait. It's certainly trickier as dwarves just being so slow. Yeah, like pushing forward is I like, well, you know, maybe two two squares above the LOS line. Maybe you just do your LOS defense again, or just do the elf columns. You know what I mean? He only needs one gut up the field to be like the threat. Yeah. yeah. PC fucking hates the Daka, doesn't he? It's hilarious. <laughs> he hates it almost as much as Ruler Five. But it's the best way to win this game well arguably it's certainly a good way to burn turns isn't it and obviously yeah. kfog wants to burn turns um dio is a great proponent of the daka and you know dio is certainly very good at blood bowl so while it's not for everyone it's it's obviously got its merits hasn't it yeah i'll just get bored <laughs> don't have the patience to do this <laughs> oh yeah calcium <laughs> Yeah, it's a, obviously a lot better when you've got the ball in an edge six, so that all of this fucking tackle zone bullshit doesn't even matter to him. <laughs> he fucking goes wherever the fuck he wants. But Jim, he doesn't have dodge past some of these guys. That's true, yeah. He does just he does have to roll two pluses. Um, but if he rolls those two pluses, he scored and you can't really do much about it. We might, we might see the guys get based here, though. Not the gut as the. Oh, no, 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 wait. I need to, let me just click the button and see how far the dwarves can go. The line rats yep. and, and storm vermin fine. might get blazed. Yeah. Might get based, not the gutters. But yeah, if he slaps a line rat of the troll slayer, he's based a gutter. With the uh, troll slayer, at least. But he doesn't care about the troll slayer. The troll slayer's not going to tackle. But yeah, okay, he could. We are moving forward, though. Yeah, I don't like. I think this is, like, this is, this is the way you get baited into making mistakes with this. Hashtag no hate. Hashtag all due respect. A snake doesn't really become likely um, on any. You just have the uh, four Rolex, stand firm. But, um, yeah, a snake is made no more or less likely by what turn it is. No, no, he's saying with enough rolls, a snake becomes likely. But the, the, no one ever makes enough rolls same. to make Each a roll snake is in, in, likely. Individual, isn't it? Yes, but the, no. The, the point is, is, if you were to make, oh, don't be a dickhead. You can't be this stupid. The point is, if you make a hundred one in thirty-six rolls, you're quite likely that you'll fail one. That's the point, <laughs> but you can't make and you can't force enough rolls to make a snake likely. You just can't. Not in blood ball. You just can't. You can't make it likely. So PC has his wall of stand firm in front. So he, PC, PTK would need a power to get back. Yeah, he just needs a push at the moment. Doesn't he? <laughs> oh. <Failed> the GFI. <laughs> just needs a push on one of these stand firms. What did you say, Jim? The snakes aren't likely? What? What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're not likely. It was a 1 in 36 chance. <laughs> yeah, I get you. <laughs> yeah, that's not likely, though, is it, Rolex? No. <laughs> that's not likely. It, it never becomes likely. That, that, that's all I'm saying, you know, like, it's. Unless it's... you, like, run round the. The part the the the, the, the 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 main thing is making it so that the 1 in 36s are devastating, isn't it? That That's the. Uh... That's what you're looking at yes. against elves. You, you don't like, you know, you want to make a snake's devastating for your opponent, not just, you know, a mild inconvenience. Because there's times, the <laughs> there's times, of course, where, you know, you, you play against elves and they like and fail a bunch of He's dodges. Dead. Hey. Wow. He's dead. And it just doesn't even matter. Instant a, apple. Wow, didn't apple sing. fails. Wait, I say it fails. It fails, he's dead. 
<laughs> yeah, one six six six. Well, it's only double six, isn't it? Because he chose he chose which one. But yeah, six six six. I'm sure the one was like work back in Nico's man. No, it was it was death. It was six and a seven and six and a four. So it was. Oh. He was just dead, dead. No, no, make no bones about it. We all love apples here, don't we? They are so great. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate that apples don't autom automatically work. I absolutely despise that. <laughs> I feel yeah. like the induced apple should be like this, but like, not the team apple. I hate that regen doesn't always work. <laughs> All right, so he's going to put two players in here to to make the base cage not a, not relevant. I guess that's what he's going to do. You could some GFIs. Does he sacrifice line rats to hold people back? Or? <gasps> I, don't like one that. There. I don't like that. That's not double one, is it? No way. Um, no way. He definitely has to make GFIs to make this cage safe. Yes, one GFI, isn't he, to, to, to get the double double screen. I guess he doesn't even need the double screen there, does he, actually? No, well, that one GFI was all needed. It doesn't matter, it's a four plus dodge. I guess you do you do make the GFI there to, to solidify it. But it doesn't matter so much if it fails. Oh, there, yeah, okay, there, yeah, okay. No, I don't like that. I, I, like, I like doing the GFI, to be honest. Oh. I, I like doing the GFI there. Wow. Oh, no. Dice. Kickers out, which could make things interesting. Yeah, he hit with a kicker. Obviously, it's it's worse if it goes wrong, but it, it saved him a point of movement, didn't it, to go and do something like that. So there is a four plus hit on the ball here, isn't there? Um, oh no, okay, so that oh yeah, so him going there means that he can only push him that way. Yeah, and uh, and then if he follows, he can't hit the ball unless it's a removal, and if he doesn't follow, then he's there to make a one D. So yeah, okay, that was pretty smart, wasn't it, by K Fog? Clever bastard. That was pretty good putting the storm button in there. That's what I find tricky about commentating on Kev's games is that you, you don't say anything because you know you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's a risky proposition. Yeah. Unlike commentating on a Space Cadet game. <laughs> like, <laughs> if you see something that you th that, that you think looks wrong, you probably re gotta, you've got to work out why you're wrong, basically. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So, yeah, you say it and he doesn't do it. Uh, it's like... Or you say it's shit, but he goes and does it. It's like, well, obviously I'm wrong. Never mind that. Just scrap <laughs> that. Delete that from the box. So, sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I don't know. It... You Ooh. could say he's always one turn behind. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we blitzing here? Might not. Just skip it. Maybe the blitzer. Come yeah, back. bring him back. What is PTK? Uh, K Fog. Uh, he is, is also known as, well, Kefu. How do you pronounce it? Not wrong, Pedro. Is also known as past tense Kefog. Because he's Kefogged, right? Kefog. And Kev. Kefog. And also Kev, so you've also got prime time Kevin. Um, so prime time Kev. <laughs> there's two, there's two, two reasons to call him PTK. <laughs> Okay, he's just going to rely on the dodge then. From there. And also pass to Kevlar, because he has altercations with haters. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Well, he can just be not like, great in Europe, he lives in the UK, doesn't he? Not really renowned for the gun culture. For mm. an NA audience. He'd be like Better Skuru joke. and just call him PC. Yeah, yeah, but if you're Skuru, you just call him PC. <laughs> he can surf this guy, can't he? I think he probably takes that surf. It doesn't cost him too much. I find a one. It's a two plus. It's not the worst thing. And that's yeah, a really nice player to surf. Just... Got to surf this guy. Do a toxic caviar. Passionately toxic. Yeah, it's yeah. not even that hard, is it? No, it's it's, it's not costing. I mean, it's not hard. It's, it, the point is, it's not. It cost him one line that maybe. Yeah, yeah. And and you with the two gutters. Uh, and the storm vermin, uh -oh. it's really not costing you anything. Here we go. Ah. Though this is very quite early, like it's not as late as PTK would have liked. No. But you know, he's, he doesn't have to score next turn. He's going to get another two turns of storm out of this at least, I would think, if not the rest of the match. Oh, well, he's oh, going no. to reroll this. Here we go. Oh. Nope, we don't have a game on our hands. 
I mean, that was a critical one, wasn't it? As Rolex says about, you know, you, you really, you literally can't make the one in 36 as likely, but it's it's making the one in 36 is critical, isn't it? And yes. and uh, K-Fog, his GFI that he needed to complete the cage was critical, and he rolled a one, and that dodge was critical and he rolled a one. So, he, he, you know, he has had to use two re-rolls here, um, but he didn't get the critical fails after re-rolls. Hello, Tony. I don't know why he moved so far forward he, this line that could come in front and he would have been all right see okay, his, his south was unorthodox but it was extremely difficult to stop it if you look at it though it does look extremely easy but that's because big brain kevin was at the wheel and jimmy of course you know he said that he thought about it first but you know <laughs> I literally but said yeah it, it really stream. is that hard to stop I literally said it on stream, but yeah, if, if if you've got if you've got somebody who knows how to one turn with with sidestep, and I do thanks to KFog. To be fair, I only I only spotted that because of the move that KFog did, you know. So it's only because of KFog that I that I even thought of that. Um, and it is that hard to stop PTK with rats? Yeah, yeah. If it if it was somebody like Gitter, of course he would not been have been able to do that one turn, but with it being. <laughs> With it I being rats my main, you know what I mean? You, you talk shit all you want. <laughs> yep. Have we made all the dodges and GFIs with these lineups? Yeah, he hasn't tagged the uh, runner though, has he? The runner is a double GFI away from a 2D without tackle. And no recovery. No block either though. Yep. No block, no tackle. Thank you, sick as eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and also another one, you know what I mean? <laughs> space. Yes. I keep calling him space because you did for ages. I did, didn't I? It was yeah. really rude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always called him space. I couldn't help it. Oh, I had 1530 high elves and you had 1850 no So that's fair enough, isn't it? Probably just killed everybody. No, it was. Uh, you died the shit out of me, but I won. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't a run-sided game. I watched the VOD recently because I wanted to see when um, <laughs> there was something that happened, um, and I was looking for the funny game. I think it was casting of the um, the Blood Bowls decade of the match of the decade. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he did. Yeah, <laughs> he did. Tom Schnees. Uh brought Kevin as a bit of a an outside prospect, really, uh, for the journeyman roster. Um, and um, yeah, he seems to have popped off. We Done alright for himself. Oh, oh GF5, that's a bit mean. <laughs> but um, I, maybe oh, I it's just me. the presence of Elp in the booth. <laughs> it's giving that impression. I'm only joking, Elp, you don't mind, do you? Well, you know, I am a person, as I said earlier on my own stream, um, I do stream, by the way, go drop me a follow, twitch.tv slash help me. Um, I am not a robot. You know, I've got feelings. Everywhere I go, I get called a shitter. And, uh, yeah, I I'm better than space, win rate wise, yeah. Yeah, you are indeed. Yeah. Can't deny that. Yeah. Oh, he didn't, he didn't put the assist in there. Is he going to score? I thought he would have come in there to assist the uh, hit on the runner. But he hasn't done that. Interesting. It, very interesting there. Can he outrun the runner to the right? In a way? I guess he's going to block the runner. Oh yeah, he'll block the runner and stall another turn. Yeah, he's he can really... outpace it. It doesn't matter. Just do the GFIs. This is another stall now. He just fucking just run. He doesn't yeah, have... run the other side. Yeah, no, he, he just, could just who run cares? the other side. Fuck him. Don't need to touch him. <laughs> that's, that's insane. But it's a critical 1 in 36 if you do. That's the problem. He does it, he rolls a one, but he's got dodge. Oh, not even sad. worried, Jim, not even worried. Not even yeah. worried. yeah, that's, that's the worry. thing, right? That's, it's, it's the critical one in 36 is what you've got to avoid. And that was a definitely a critical one in 36, wasn't it? Yeah, PZ's done well to give him a lot of these yeah. I mean, it's it makes the game fucking tricky, but he's still down there with two heads and that sort of shit, you know? The, yeah, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been PCA game over if he at all very well. Sixes, but you know, yeah. he's made three critical one in thirty sixes this half. 
<laughs> well, yeah, that should, you know, that should really uh, highlight <laughs> how I feel. That's nah, all good. It's all good. No, oh, look at this, making his 3 plus dodge is disgusting. Yeah, you hate to see it. A skill I have um, never mastered is Skaven. <laughs> skill I've not mastered of any team. Yeah, to be fair, any raise. <laughs> it eludes me as any raise. <laughs> and now he's screened the entire dwarf team off. Outrageous. Outrageous stuff from PTK. What is this base? Can't you just get surfed again? He can. I don't see anyone else to come stop the surf. I mean, he hasn't he hasn't activated them yet. But I guess he's going to blitz the sidestepper and and come down and and try to get in the way that way. I don't know. It's rough though, isn't it? This is rough for PC. Let's the uh, storm vermin and get the bruno field. Yeah, no, yeah, he's done this one. Okay. I'm not sure that puts enough pressure on, but I think it's more than anything else he could have done. Well, he, he could have he could have blitzed the sidestepping cutter, couldn't he? And uh, and then dodged, just dodged with the blitzer, and like. <laughs> Tommy, I'm not saying that's better, <laughs> but uh, and I, I get okay. Yeah, this way he gets the runner out. Okay, this way he gets the runner through. So that, that was the idea, wasn't it? That he gets the runner through here. That, 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 yeah. So this is pretty good actually. This is probably about as good as you could have done thinking about it. That would have maybe put more immediate pressure on by blitzing the gutter, but this sets up the uh, the runner dodge out, which puts more pressure on for next turn and each yeah. subsequent turn. It's all about. Forcing cave up to score as soon as possible. So far, it's not going well. <laughs> Bezos will be happy looking at that report. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be fucking livid, mate. Take your time out of his weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another one for PC. He hasn't. He's only made a couple of GFIs, and uh, he's. I thought he was a GFI up. master. What is this? He's not shy of doing GFIs, is he, PC? Hello, yeah. Dimmy. And you know, he, he definitely does better than I do with dwarves, so maybe I don't GFI enough. Does he be a toxic showboater and surf the runner? Yes. I think you should. Yeah, you do. Yeah, it's not costing you a lot to do it. And then he just goes back on the left, doesn't he? The problem is, is he maybe. would rather be in the end zone, assisting yeah. it, wouldn't he? With sidestep and then screening it all off. But um, again, because if you go there and then you power him, then all of a sudden it's a bit horrible. And if you go in front of him and then hit him, then it's a bit dodgy. So I guess you go to the other side of him. Like, so just directly in front of the square, directly in front of the storm uh, yeah. is where you assist from. Because you have all the movement in the world and you can go wherever the fuck you want. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's probably the best. That's probably the best to us. Because then if you push. Yeah, if you get the double powers, you, you can power, push him away. Yeah. Oh, got a hand off. Yo, farm. Kind of don't like that because he'd want to re-roll it, wouldn't he? Goodbye, Mr. Runner. We will miss you. Just <laughs> push him directly up, doesn't he? Oh, no. What? Is he one dice in them? <sighs> Why would you do that? He's not even oh, hitting not, him. He's not, he's not even him. surfing. He's not even doing him. What the oh, fuck? Oh, he's just forming up the cage. What a lad. Get the fuck out of here, care fuck. <laughs> no, it's fair enough, right? It gets him. It gets an extra player in. So there you go. So. But he could have done the same thing, surfed, and then just three plus dodge. He could have just done a three plus dodge, but they saved him the dodge, and I guess he thought the runner is that irrelevant. That um. <laughs> That's that pretty player. toxic, isn't it? A bit of showboating. <laughs> showboating. Your runner's not good enough to surf. <laughs> it's not even worth looking at. Yeah. yeah. Saves him a three plus roll. And this no, he gets a full more... screen. It's yeah, this is more impactful. The part that's not screened, but you know, pretty nice. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, I guess. Dimmy. Oh no, Dimmy's got no beer. What an absolute tragedy. I would have definitely surfed the uh, runner for what it's worth. <laughs> Like he's been making his free push dodges, and even if he fails, he probably still scores, and it doesn't matter. Yeah. 
and that gets him to 71, an MVP away. Yeah. From leveling again. Maybe he should have tried to get to the uh, wrestle one, but Ooh. he would have gone to 77. He could. Oh no, it's got sidestep. Oh. If he didn't have sidestep, he could have changed it, chained it into the end zone and just made him score. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why he didn't hand off to the wrestle that turn, wasn't it? Because he would have got, he would have, he would have done it then. If he wanted the ball here, which he did. Yeah, PTK toying with PC here. <clears throat> Fluffy burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that's true, isn't it? I mean, I like to talk myself around. <laughs> but that's okay, isn't it? It's okay to, like, modify your opinion. There's lots of people who, like, make a snap judgment and then will never consider <laughs> any other opinion than their own, <laughs> ever. Um, but, yeah, you give the people them that said space was wrong for scoring on turn 8. Not scoring. <laughs> you give them all the ideas and they just say, nope, my idea was best. Yeah, yeah well, there is an awful lot of that. Yeah, whereas I I like to think about things and. and well, you do come, you do sometimes. you do come across quite strongly on your initial denial before you think coming around. <laughs> well, that's okay, isn't it? But the fact you know, is, he does come around eventually. Who cares how long it takes? Yeah, I'll always I always consider things like that anyone says, even you help. Yep. Hello. What? <laughs> Has it even you help? He's got the scoring for it. PC scoring for it has come up the field. <laughs> oh. No more canoring threat. All these got these two that K Fog's apparently talk completely forgotten about. Oh my god. Well, one was base, but the other one, yeah. Oh, thanks, Elliot. Does he pass? <laughs> I think he passes. The BM oh. pass. No, he's not going to pass. He's oh, not even going to in the end zone, done the pass touchdown. He's not even going to hand off to that guy. He's just going to. He's just going to keep the uh, keep the cage. Do it with even more BM, he could hand off to the Storm version. And... <laughs> 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 Roll into the next match of Claw. He's definitely not going to do that. But he should. <laughs> He's got a reputation he needs to uphold for his fans. Yep. His only fans. <laughs> Another one in nine! Oh man. He's one in 81 and one in nine like about four times. Completely just forgotten about these guys. I mean, this guy, yeah, this guy was based till last turn, but this guy wasn't based, was he? He could have stood up no. a couple of turns ago. This is pretty cares. fucking dire for PC, isn't it? It does, yeah. He's got to do the 6 plus dodge in, 2D with tackle. Yeah, sidestep, he just scores. Yeah, he's, he's got we, tackle. Oh, actually, no, tackle. Yeah, tackle knocks him over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We could uh, just blitz the movement guy and say, good luck next game without your movement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you can Kaz him. <laughs> if, if Reddit was right and you could just guarantee Kazing any skink that you hit, then yes. <laughs> 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 oh, he's not going for that. He's going for the, he's going for this, the dodge dodging. The dodge skill dodging, I guess. But uh, I think you'd probably been better off with the uh, tackle on the hit. I don't know. No, maybe he's not. Maybe he's not. Six pluses do happen. I've seen them on Rick Stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, having the skill reroll on the dodge, and then he's got more chance of having the reroll on the hit, and I guess reroll without tackle is almost as good as two without tackle. So, yeah, this is probably the right one, isn't it? Go in with the dodger. So he goes in from the top. Because um, yeah. the gut has tackle, doesn't he? Yes, of course, yeah. Oh. Double two. We're not getting in like that. We're entering ourselves. For a no long term. Going in with a tackle is better. There you go. Just a shitty little kid game with dice. <laughs> yeah, more chance of doing that or re roll. But if you've got the re roll, that makes the tackle better. Yeah, fair enough. Perfect. Eight turns stop. So now we wish for Riot, I guess. I mean, yeah, Purple Chest does. <laughs> yeah. K Fog doesn't. <laughs> K Fog just says GG. No, yeah, really happy with the way this game's went, isn't he? A few line rat deaths. Uh, yeah. What is it? Just two badly hurts and a death. I mean, fuck, yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? Easy win. Mm -hmm. K Fog will do his little chuckle. And <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, most damage was actually done to the dwarves. The dwarf death. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. The dwarves got all bashed. <laughs> oh dear. Classic PTK.
Absolutely classic. It's nice, really happy to see Rats going through the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> Have they won it? They've won it once, haven't they? Or twice? Yeah, PTK has won once. He went with Wood Owls. Surely Skaven must have won before. Yeah, like Skaven must have won. Yeah, Skaven's won. Oh yeah, they, they won it with a, a terrible coach. Has won it with Skaven before, and uh, and and. Uh, huh, there's hope Chunter. for you, Yelp. Chunter won it Chunter. with uh, Chunter won it as well recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gasol Mall. Yeah, Gasol Mall is. Uh, it is, yeah, Ducky, yeah, yeah. The, f the first turn, in fact, there was two cars and a KO on, on, on turn one. <laughs> and then since then, pretty much nothing. And to think, Jimmy, early on you were asking to roll against AV7 like this. Yes, that's true. <laughs> and, that's true. Yeah, nothing's happened. Yeah. Another crazy thing is PC fouled the uh, Juggernaut and then Andy didn't even need it. Yeah, yep. Yep, he didn't need it, and he got sent off for his troubles. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Big Mully D did not win it. He got the semis with an amazing... Oh, he got the final, in fact, with an amazing Skaven team. And then uh, <laughs> and then Inarian, who had got quite lucky to beat me in the in the pre, in the semi final, um, then just completely uh, he completely obliterated uh, Mully D in the final, like just pitch cleared him and won like about 5-0. <laughs> is that when Mully D stopped playing as well? <laughs> Maybe. Because <laughs> yeah, Narian said he stopped playing because I beat him in the finals. Thrashed him <laughs> was the word he used. He did thrash him, yeah. Yeah. And, and it's funny because I nearly beat Inari in the semi and if I had beaten Inari in the semi I would have had no chance against Mole's given team with my chaos. <laughs> I would have had absolutely zero chance. It was going a bit like this game, I think. Yeah. <laughs> no, Pedro, Gasol Mole is, is not great at Blood Bowl. But he had a Skaven team and he rolled some dice and he won Chalice. There you go. Did he ever want to? Probably, yeah. Oh, oh here's our injuries. We've damage. got them back. Oh, yeah, badly hurt, though. Do you reckon he does the foul? Why not? Yeah. Respect foul. you got to respect foul. Oh, no. no. Nice guy, purple chest. Doesn't do the respect foul. <laughs> of course, the MVP of this game was actually the movement turn, because he's OP as fuck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he made one AV break and killed a guy. <laughs> and then PC broke his own armor and cast himself. <laughs> Two cars. Two cars. That was a pretty quick game, wasn't it, all in all? From one, yeah, that was very quick. Yeah, yeah. amazing. I'll be back in a moment. Okie dokie. Wow, that yeah, that was, I mean, it was it was always going to be quick, I guess, right? When you think that that um, K Fog's entire A turn defense was likely to be non-existent, and it so it proved he pretty much uh, capitulated. Yeah, it was either going to be a quick win or a quick loss because he would have got out bashed or something. Yeah, he put he pretty. I mean, that's just what he did, didn't he? Just capitulated. Stayed down, and then on offense he did the Daka, which also reduced the playing time. So it was a super quick match. Certainly uh, was. <laughs> Not a particularly interesting one as I predicted, but there we are. Hello, I tried PC. to make it interesting, but it didn't work. Yeah. Okay. We got the uh, one turn to look at, though. That was worth it. Yeah, I mean, I could have put I, the the stand firms on the back corners make it slightly harder. But if as I didn't manage to take the Juggernaut out, even then the same options were available to him. Yeah, I yeah. think if that, I, the gotta run and can probably run around and hit one of the other dudes instead. Yeah, which is yeah, why I kept the two stand firms up the front was to stop that happening. The two heads made it hard. Didn't yeah. It? yeah, the one combination of the one jocks and the two heads two back hard. made it. Uh, you know, that's why the runners were there to get the dodge in there a little bit harder, but still very easy with two heads and AG four. Still possible anyway. Although, as we um, saw... He and used... if the stand firms had been on the black co back corner, then the Juggernaut would just have done the same blitz, and it was still possible. But it was it was the best I could think of. There was no point yeah, in that. We need a... No, we needed all the 11, though, to do the version. Yes, and he getting to take... him all the way back. <laughs> well, the hope was to take either the Juggernaut out in the first half, or just one or two more rats, and then I did think I could have stopped the one turn. But, not yeah, it, me. It, well, it good did, game, my friend. did mention it took him all 11 to do it, so yeah. any more injuries... Yeah, was... or if the KO hadn't come back. Yeah. I don't know, I need to be more creative. There was still, of course, the option running around and blitzing, 
one yeah. in the middle. Yeah. yeah, there's still ways. Yeah, yeah. but did that just mean with all the eleven, it just made it so straightforward because also COVID, like it was harder to be annoyed. Like there was less bad things. I don't like the word straightforward, Cor. <laughs> Lesser players than you would have found that a little trickier, but it still took everything you had, a couple of dodges. One know. dodge. One dodge. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, because I needed three on land of scrimmage. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and a deeper say... kick would have made it trickier too. Yes. Yeah. I would have yeah. taken that rat out, yeah. but I didn't have kick. So you do what you would... do with what you've got. I said a high kick on top. I think you just caught it. Oh, did I just... What's the yeah, meant a high cool. kick? I, I think it was a high kick, though, but... Cannot remember. It's a, it yeah, feels like ages ago already. I think it was high kick, and you had hands were under it. Mm. Which made it, it even easier. But at the back corner, where that rat would have had to pass it rather than be involved, that would have taken the one out that I felt I needed to make that, yeah, not doable. But it was doable, so it happened. Yeah. We uh, saw the uh, Swelton heat at the start. It did absolutely nothing. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not that dubious about that would be good or bad. Yeah. And if I uh, if I if that foul had worked, then I could have just put three stand firm on the line and backlined. Yeah, but, uh, it didn't. I, I said if I was careful, I wouldn't have even fielded the uh, that storm vermin. On defense. Yeah, I mean that was my thinking was that the storm vermin and the nat near natty would both be on the bench for the first drive. Yeah, I probably should have done. I also think it's also my best option for getting a lucky chip. Yeah, but he kept it oh. very safe, and then when I got hold of it, I hit it and it didn't work, and then I fouled it and it didn't work. So what more can you do? Um, Roll back yeah, and of course, it, of course, it should also. You needed the four plus injury as well with the apple failing because yeah, it was yeah. getting apple no matter what. <laughs> yeah, 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 but you know, yeah. even, even a yeah. KO could have keeping him out for that. that I might even a KO. Yeah, I was about to say, might even a yeah, might even have apo the KO. Yeah, yeah, yeah and even uh, if you come back turn nine, you're fine because he he was out for the one turn. That's all you wanted. That's all yeah. I wanted. Yeah, it's. I've, I was looking at actually leaving him and. Uh, Leaving him and uh, one one of the God and the guy got a run out as well, just <laughs> taking the three best players for the yeah, one turn. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought you did when I was talking last night on stream. I, that's what I thought would happen. Yeah, um, just whatever happened, was... both of us would choose for me to receive because I need to take enough rats out, uh, as I said, for the idea I came up with to have a chance. But it didn't quite work. No, it looked good though for the first turn. <laughs> yeah. Was, uh, Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I just needed to get, yeah, just, just literally, oh. just two more after that. And, it was uh, uh, one KO fail. It, and I had, had a it, shot. it seemed, it seemed like your casualties was only on the line of scrimmage rats. Yeah. Because then in sixteen, it did the same again. Just removed the line of scrimmage. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You needed more LOS hits. That was the problem. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, Core was never standing up anything that wasn't what he wanted to use. And there was a limit to how many dwarves I could go trying to hunt him down with. And they're so fast that you know, dwarves are struggling yeah. to hunt things down when they run away. There was a few scary ones, though, and uh, important dice. Thank yeah, you. yeah, I was hoping for a, you know, a snake would have really put me in it on a couple of times when the first one failed, but the second always worked, so. Yeah, yeah, the, the turn where I need, where I rolled... No complaints, that's Blood Bowl. The turn around the middle line where I rolled the one on the first one, which means it does potato him down just to be sure that no tackle can reach him yeah. if something else fucks up was pretty scary that was not the original plan let's put it that way that was not <laughs> where i wanted to do but with, yeah. with no reroll, i just wanted to get out of range of tackle and i mean i it, felt there were a few things that that failed where i was a little unlucky but you yeah. know the call on the foul the foul not even getting a, a you got a, a snake on the 12th layer gfi to hit and yeah, which, I mean, I, I, that wasn't sure really make to do anything. anything. That was just to try and put some pressure on it. Basically, I was trying to do exactly what happened, which was invite him forward. And yeah, then I need to push to through lefty yeah. some sort of shot. I should probably have taken that uh, runner dodge in on the cage the time where I based it instead and got the three die, which just pushed. Um, oh, yeah, but he took the corner. But the problem is, if, if that failed, then he was away with absolutely no chance uh, to get back. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's the problem. problem. Isn't and it? And with me doing, actually, and with me doing the one in nine block straight away afterwards, to, the Slayer did exactly actually remove one anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Um, yeah, I could dodge. They couldn't block the puny little line of rats, but they could dodge. 
Yeah, there was some good. That was some chunter like three plus dodging on display. <laughs> yeah, I should do some dodging because the three. I think they all were. Blocking was, but so um, <laughs> no, not all, but a but, lot. I mean, none of them were that crucial. It was always about the gutters and trying to get a fail out of those. Yeah, yeah, but it didn't happen. The only thing it made it probably made you not getting two turns to score black. Yeah, we were surprised you didn't surf the other runner though when you hit it. I was more scared. I was more scared about uh, getting. I was more scared of him getting two turns, to be honest. Yeah, he, and the he, runner was never going to force me to score. He was yeah. he was put there to be surfed, um, <laughs> because I thought if he surfed it, he was going to take two to three pieces to do it, and that might create an opening to get in on a on a five rather than a six, for example. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was that was dangling a leg. That was deliberately put there. And, and yeah, um, yeah, there was no way. He, I mean, that was a shit piece that was of no value. So. Yeah, that's the thing. I wanted the ball and block at the same time, so it makes sense just keep getting the hit on it anyway. Yeah. I needed to switch over to a block player to make sure you didn't. Got a ball again, you know, most of that second half, I was just hoping for a, a snake somewhere, a one in thirty-six on that yeah, handoff, or one of the dodges would have changed it. But you know, that's blood bolt. Didn't happen. We move on. It was Absolutely. also good the uh, block player had sidestep because uh, PC could have forced the score if, with a chain push if he didn't have sidestep. Yeah, yeah I think I would like yeah, if it stayed on a non non block a, a non sidestep piece, I would absolutely have looked for yeah. a way to push it in. Yeah, yeah. there was no way it was going to the block guard piece. That's right. literally my worst got a runner to have it on. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? What did I think of it, Yeti? I mean, it was inevitable. It was <laughs> what I would have done in the same position. Wow. Um, I, I don't like them, but it's it's the right it was the right thing to do to try and suck me forward as he did, and then look for a way to break through, which is exactly what he did. Uh, I did what I could, which was you know reinforce the wings. The last thing you want is coming coming strongly down the wings and try and tempt him into the middle, and then you hope that you know it, there's a a one in nine there or a fail or something mm. that just gives you some chance to get in. Um, and it was a little shakier than it, it could have been. I mean, it's a lot easier with Wood Elves to do that sort of thing. Uh, yeah. I did I think know. I said that on, on didn't I? I commented that in the game chat as well. Yeah. This is a lot more fun with Wood Elves than it is with AG3's game. <laughs> yeah, right. it's pretty similar from my point of view. <laughs> so I have a question, PC. Why push against the DACA? Uh, because otherwise he just stays there until turn six, and then he's only got a breakthrough, and he's got such speed that he goes down either flank. Yeah, but you, you in pushing catch. forward, you you extend your guys right, and you sacrifice. So you make just the straight line instead of the old double stack. That you could have had. But he had plenty of. Uh, he had he had a guard piece. He had a juggernaut piece, so he can always move the stand firm and just make it down the edge anytime he wants. So I just didn't feel that had good value. And again, I had to take some pieces out, if at all possible, uh, mm. and try and force him to come forward earlier than he wanted to. Which, you know, it worked. It just then didn't... I didn't get on top of the, uh, yeah. of the push forward in the way that I hoped to. This might be one of the first games where Juggernaut actually wins it. You know, chip, chipping that stand firm on the push through the line, yeah. um, that, that didn't help at all. Right. No. Anyway, guys, sorry, I'm going to have to wrap this up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alp and Muppet, for the commentary. Thank you, PC and KFog, for joining us. Congratulations, Pleasure. KFog. Commiserations, yep. PC. And Grad uh, score. Good luck next round. Cheers, mate. There you go. Cheers for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.